Hi, my name is Janet and welcome to 365 Inspired Yoga Classes. And today is day 44. And I'm doing a series of yoga classes to balance the chakras or chakra energy centers in your body. And today we are working on our second chakra, Swadhisthana. It's located really low in your belly, right down here. And it's the element of water and has to do with the pleasures of life, the sweetness of life, with creativity. And the most creative act that we do as human beings happens in this spot, and that is the creation of a new life, of a new baby. It's raining outside, so it's the perfect day to celebrate the element of water. Let's come on down to our hands and knees, bring an open mind, bring some creativity with you, let go of your inhibitions, and let's play and have some yoga fun together. So as you come down to your hands and knees on your mat, you might start to set yourself up with the wrists beneath your shoulders and knees under your hips. And then let's begin to just kind of move the body freely, sway your hips side to side. Yoga can balance out the second chakra or all the chakras of the body. And this one is by freedom of movement. Other things you could do is play and dance and cook and paint and write in whatever ways you express yourself creativity. Creativity. We're going to take our butt and make little circles forward, around, and back. Just kind of wiggling the tush around, swiveling and moving. And then let's go the other way. So just kind of wiggling your butt around in circles, feeling the freedom of movement, the silliness, the playfulness of it. Good. And then shifting forward, let's bend one arm and then the other. Just kind of sway side to side, getting into the shoulders. And then move forward and back a little bit. Just kind of playing around here, bringing in some freedom of movement. Woo! Coming back to center, open your knees wide, bring your big toes to touch, push your hips to your heels and stretch your child's pose out. Let's start to cultivate our Ujjayi breathing. Simply seal your lips and breathe in and out of your nose. Let's find some playfulness here in child's pose. Lift your gaze, walk your hands over to the left and then soften back down. Stretch through the right side of your body. Take a few breaths here. Mm. And lift your head up, walk your hands on a little journey over off the right side of your mat and soften your forearms and forehead down, stretch the left side of your body. Just noticing the extension through the side of your body, breathing it, being playful here. And lift your head coming back to center, let's add a twist, take your right hand Slide it underneath the left arm. There you go. Peek underneath your left armpit and take a little twist in your child's pose. That's kind of fun. Mm. Couple breaths here. And then lift your head up and let's take it the other side. Right hand reaches forward. Left arm sweeps underneath. Come down to your left shoulder, left temple. Peek under your right armpit. Just breathe here, stretching this little gentle twist to the body. Expect lots of change, creativity, directional movement in our practice together. And then lift your gaze and bring your hands out in front of you. Rise up to tabletop posture. And from tabletop, curl your toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. Lead with your tushy, bending one knee at the time. Straight leg, heel pushes to the mat. Swiggle and wiggle and move. Swiggle. I think I made up a new word, and that's creative. Let's take our right hand, reach under the body to touch the left leg, peeking under your left armpit. <laughs> Release it. Try the other side. Right hand down, left arm reaches under, taking a little twist here and down dog. If I leave you here too long, you can, of course, come back to tabletop. Otherwise, coming back to down dog, take your right leg up and bend your right knee, stick it in the air, and move your right knee around in one direction. Wiggle it back the other way. Re-extend the right leg high. Place your right foot down. Let's try the other side. Left leg lifts up, bend the left knee. There you go. Move your left knee around. Mm, nice. Re-extend your left leg up nice and high. Bring your left foot to the earth. From down dog, let's walk to the top of the mat. Take it slow, playful, easy. 
Once you get up there, leave your feet separated and twist over to the left. Feel the right side body really stretching. Sweep all the way over to the right. Feel the left side body really extending. Woo. Coming back to center. Let's take a little twist here. Right fingertips or hand touches the mat. Left hand reaches high. Try to straighten the left leg as you bend the right knee. Lifting your left hand, even looking to the left. Good. Bringing it back down. Left hand to the mat. Right hand high. Reaching up. Twisting open to the right. Then bring your right hand down to the mat. Don't heel your feet together to touch. How does that feel? Soften your knees. And let's round all the way up to standing. Once you come up, circle your arms high overhead. Bring your palms to touch. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Gaze down at your fingertips or close your eyes. And take a moment to invite in the second chakra energy of fluidity. Go with the flow, the movement of water, the pleasures of life. Breathe in. Invite in more sweetness. And as you breathe out, open your eyes and release your palms to your side. Let's inhale both arms high overhead. Look up and just let your hands sway a little side to side, like maybe trees in the breeze. Come back to center and spread the arms wider as you open your heart into a gentle or a deep backward bend. Breathe in, rise back up, and as you breathe out, bring your hands down through your heart as you fold forward. Enjoying this deep forward fold stretch, maybe bending one knee and then the other, if that works for you. Let's inhale and float up to halfway, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold over the legs. Do that again. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold down. One more time. Inhale, flow halfway up. Exhale, flow down. Touch the mat and step back to plank the top of a push-up. Let's play in plank pose. Breathe in. Exhale, hip side down dog. Again, inhale, shift forward to high plank. Exhale, hips high down dog. One more time, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, hips high, down dog. Breathe in, look forward as you exhale, walk to forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, float up halfway. Exhale, fluidly fold down. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms wide, come all the way up to mountain pose, and breathe out to bring your hands to your heart space. How's your breath flowing? Close your eyes and feel your breath flow. Feel at ease with the fluidity of your breath. It's deep and it's smooth, and maybe you hear it. Does it sound a little bit like Darth Vader, like ocean waves? If not, tuck your chin slightly or back your head up. Engage that slight little muscle back there, the epiglottis muscle, that creates a whisper sound and it tells your body that air is flowing into the lungs or it shifts so that food can go down into your throat and into your abdomen. Breathe in and as you breathe out, open your eyes, release your palms down, let's inhale the arms high overhead and as you exhale, let the arms flow side to side. Breathe in, come back to center, and exhale, open into a back bend. Breathe in, rise up, breathe out, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift, we'll do this three times. Exhale, soften over the legs, two more. Breathe in, rise halfway. Exhale, fold down, last one. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, fold down, touch the mat, and step back to plank. Hold plank as you breathe in, exhale, push up and back. Down dog. See if you can rise under the tippy toes, ripple forward, find plank. Exhale, push up and back. Down dog. One more time. Inhale, ripple forward, come to high plank. Exhale, down dog. Add one more. Why not? We're being creative. Spontaneous, shift forward, high plank. Breathe out, downward facing dog. From down dog, look forward and as you exhale, slowly walk to forward fold. Breathe into a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Add one more. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Palms connect above you. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Feel your body breathing. Notice if you're starting to sweat. Are you bringing some water for 
from your body. Your body has a fairly high percentage of fluidity of water. On a cellular level, we start off at about 80% water, and as time goes by, it goes down a little bit. So you're probably still close to that 80, maybe somewhere between there and 75%. On a cellular level, you are water. Let's flow. Open the eyes, release the palms down. Inhale, reach high, and as you exhale, start to look at the ceiling and sway side to side. Breathe in, come back to center. Exhale, open to a gentle or a deeper back bend. Let your arms float open, be soft. Breathe in, rise back up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Two more, just like that. Breathe in, flow up. Exhale, fold down once more. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms, step to high plank, hold plank as you breathe in. Exhale, down dog. Let's do that two more times. Ripple up off the toe, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift up, shift forward. Exhale, down dog. One more time, why not? Let's breathe in, shift into plank. Exhale, down dog. Come down dog, look forward, step all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, two more, breathe in, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, last one, inhale, halfway lift. Breathe out, bow down, inhale, reach high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Whew. That was fun, let's keep going. Let's find our chair pose, reach your arms high, sit your hips low, look for your toes, if they're hiding behind your knees, just back your seat up. Swivel and wiggle your booty down. Breathe in and as you breathe out, fly the arms back. Now as your arms fly back, you might add a little drinking bird by shifting to your toes. Breathe in. As you exhale, drop the heels. Inhale, lift up and breathe out, back bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Just one halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step to high plank. Now you can push to down dog like we've been doing. You could drop to the knees, always a good choice. Take care of yourself if you're feeling the power today. Stay on your tippy toes, shift forward. Super important for your shoulders that you shift forward and lower halfway. Be mindful not to dip the shoulders, turn your toes over and lift to upward facing dog. Whew. Drop your left hip, look over your right shoulder. Feeling good, drop your right hip, look over your left shoulder. <laughs> Push up and back, downward facing dog. For downward facing dog, inhale takes your right leg high. Exhale, bring your right knee toward your nose. Curl your spine like you're doing cat pose. Breathe in, set your right leg high. Exhale, right knee comes to the right elbow. Breathe in, re-extend your right leg high. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow. Woo, it's raining, windshield wiper the knee side to side. Three, two, one, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot between your palms, low lunge. Drop to the left knee. Sweep your arms high. Press your hips forward. Drop your head back. Open it up. Maybe let the arms float open as your head looks up. Take care of your body. Do it the way that's best for you. Feel easy. Feel fluid. Breathe in. Rise back up. Exhale. Hands to the mat. Let's pull back. Straighten the right leg and bow down over your right leg. Take a few breaths. Really pulling the toes back towards your nose. A couple breaths here. Hmm. to shift forward, plant your palms on the mat, pick up your back knee, and step back to plank or down dog, flow through high to low plank, breathe into upward facing dog, stay there, drop your left hip, look over your right shoulder, come back to center, drop your right hip, look over your left shoulder, come back to center, curl your toes under, down dog, second side, here we go, a little strength, inhale left leg high, exhale knee to nose, hold there, be strong, breathe in left leg high, exhale left knee, Left elbow, good. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, right elbow, windshield wiper, side to side, it's raining. Woo. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot between your thumbs. Drop to the right knee. Wow. Sweep your arms high. Push your hips forward. Lift your gaze upward and open your arms wider. Feel your heart open. Let your arms be soft fluid, playful, come back up, hands to the mat, pull the hips back and stretch out the back of your left leg, 
bow down over the left leg. Mm, what a beautiful stretch. Whew. Let's begin to lift and shift forward, plant the palms, pick up the back knee, step back to plank or down dog. If you're flowing, shift forward, lower halfway down. Inhale to up dog, hold up dog, exhale, left hip drops, look over your right shoulder. Inhale back to center, exhale, right hip drops, look over your left shoulder. Come back to center, curl your toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, look forward and step all the way to the top of your mat. Soften your knees and round up to standing. One vertebra at a time. Ah. Circle your arms high overhead, bring your palms to touch. And as you breathe out, slide your hands to your heart space. Gaze softly down over your fingertips to close your eyes. And just take a moment to think of where you could invite creativity into your life into your relationships, into your work. Where do you need to bring more playfulness, more sweetness, more of that water element? And then open your eyes and let's shift into a few balanced postures. We'll begin with tree by shifting to the left foot. Turn your right foot out and place your foot against the calf, maybe the ankle or the inner thigh. Whatever feels right for you, you might want to grow your branches. Maybe your branches sway like they did in Sun A. And bring your hands to touch and bring them back down to your heart space. Keep breathing and slowly lower your right foot to the earth. Let's change it up, shifting onto the right foot, turn the left foot out. And make it placement the same as the other side. So rip it on the first side, try and match it as best you can on the second side. And what did you do with your arms? Maybe find some dancing movements, some playfulness, freedom of movement, fluidity, inviting the water element, even as you try to hold steady and strong. And then bring your hands back to your heart and lower your left foot down. Let's find dancer's pose by coming into mountain pose with the arms raised high over the head. And then lower your right elbow to your right hip with your palm open. Shift to the left foot, kick your right foot into your seat. Reach up tall, squeeze your knees together. And as you breathe out, open it up. Pressing your right foot back as your left hand reaches forward. Be creative with your left hand. Maybe practice some mudra. Some fun placements with the hands. And then come up and let it go. Let's find the second side. From mountain, we lower the left elbow down, keeping the palm open. Shift to the right foot, kick your left foot into your seat, grab it. Holding on here, knees squeeze together to touch, and then we play and push and stretch. And maybe you'll even create a fun little hand mudra. And then release it. Together we'll flow, inhale mountain pose. As you exhale, look up and flay and straight, flay, flay around with your arms in the air. Breathe in, come to stillness, and exhale opens you into a backward bend. Breathe in, come back up, and exhale about forward all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms, step to plank, weight and down dog, or flow through high to low plank. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, come right back to downward facing dog. From down dog, let's breathe the right leg high. And exhale the right foot between your thumbs. Lower your left heel as best you can and begin to pull the right hip back, straightening the right leg. Bow down over the right leg as best you can. You might need to be kind of high, depends on your flexibility. Blocks, maybe if you need blocks, you can use them here. Good. And then let's lunge into the front right knee, push the left heel to the mat and rise up to warrior one pose. From warrior one pose, find exalted warrior by sweeping the right hand down to the back of the left thigh. Lunge deep into the right knee, look up, open up, reach the left hand back. Breathe in, breathe out. One more deep breath in. Stay for your exhale. On your next inhale, rise up, and exhale, open up to warrior two. Your right knee lines over your right ankle, your back leg is straight, back toes are turned in. You're looking over your right fingertips. Let's straighten the right leg, look toward me, bring the fingertips to touch above you. 
And as you exhale, get back into that warrior two. Do that again. Inhale, straighten the front right leg. Hands connect above, gaze turns. Exhale, back to warrior two posture. One more time, inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. This time as you rise up, turn your toes out and exhale into goddess pose, sitting deep. Feel your feet connected to the earth. Breathe in, stretch up, and as you exhale, sit even deeper and open your knees even wider. Feel that openness. Inhale, lift up. This time as you exhale and sit into your goddess, really pull the belly and tuck the tail under. Breathe in, rise all the way up. Breathe out to shift back to warrior two. On your inhale, reverse your warrior. Take your right hand high. Lunge deep into the right knee. Look up at the right hand. Take the left hand. Grab your right wrist. Give it an extra stretch. Stay exactly as you are, or there is one more challenge like you did in Drinking Bird. See if you can lift the front right heel. Wow, and look up. Good, inhale. As you exhale, release the heel, release the hands down, step back to down dog, or join me in a high to low plank. Breathing into upward facing dog, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Good, from down dog, inhale, your left leg lifts into the air. As you exhale, step in between your thumbs to a low lunge. We're getting into a pyramid stretch by trying to straighten the left leg. Bow down over the left leg, maybe add blocks if you need to, really stretching. Pull your left hip back, your right hip forward. Gaze down and back at your right foot. Try to push your right heel to the mat. Turn your right toes in slightly so it looks like your right toes are pointed to the upper right corner of your mat. Keeping the right foot connected, lift your gaze, lunge into the left knee, and reach your arms up high. Coming into warrior one, left hip pulls back, right hip shifts forward. Keep the right heel connected as firmly as you can and find exalted warrior by taking your left hand to the back of the right thigh. Lunge deep into the left knee, lift your gaze. There you go. Just noticing how this gentle back bend or pretty intense back bend for some of us opens up warrior one into a whole new feeling. Exaltation, exalted warrior. Let's come back up to warrior one and then open it up to warrior two. There's a slight shifting maybe of your feet on the mat as you find your alignment, left knee over left ankle. Then we'll bring it up into what I call dancing warrior. Straightening the left leg, turning your gaze to the side of your mat and reaching your palms to connect above you. Breathe in. Exhale to warrior two. Two more times. Here we go. Inhale, straighten the left leg, change your gaze. Exhale, look over your left fingers as you lunge into warrior two. One more time. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it down, good. This time we're gonna rise up to start, turn the toes out, and exhale as you squat down into goddess. Feel your feet really connected to the earth. Breathe in, rise up, stretch up. Exhale as you come deep, open your knees nice and wide. Once more, inhale brings you up. Exhale, get down into it, tuck your tail under, pull your belly in. Breathe in, rise back up, adjust your feet, and exhale to warrior two. For warrior two, find reverse warrior by taking your left hand high, keep deep into the front left knee. Add on if you'd like, take your right hand, grab your left wrist, give it a little pull. Add on, lift the left heel if you did it on the first side. Just breathe, super challenging, so strong. One more big breath in. As you exhale, release the heel, release your hands down, step back to down dog, or flow through high to low plank. Breathe into up dog, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. From down dog, look forward, step all the way through, and have a seat. Amazing, so strong. Let's take all that strong energy that we've been flowing with, and start to slow it down. Use the heat in your body, the sweat, the moisture in your body, in order to find greater flexibility. We'll start with the seated forward fold, and imagining the ocean waves as we do this. So send your legs out in front of you. Pull your seat back a little bit so that your pelvis kind of tilts forward. The pelvis tilts back, the body shifts forward. It's okay to bend your knees as much as you need to. As you inhale, reach up high, look up. And as you exhale, fold over your legs. Breathe in and bring the hands up the legs, reach up high. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Breathe in, rise up, reach up. Exhale, fold deep, hinge forward. Once more, inhale, reach all the way up, coming to seated. 
and exhale, moves you into forward fold. Now just stay in this forward fold stretch. Noticing as you hold still, there's still fluidity. There's the beating of your heart, the rhythm of your breath. You might even be aware of your pulse. Just settle in and breathe. slowly start to rise up. Let's finish a little bit of boat, a little bit of core here. Feet on the mat, lean back, lift your legs. Imagine you're just floating along in the boat, right, even and smooth with the water. And even when waves come, which they do, you're still staying afloat. Make it a little stronger if you want by straightening your legs. Hold for three, two, one with control. Lay yourself down on the mat. Full body stretch. Ah. Draw your knees into your heart. Give yourself a little squeeze. Rock gently side to side, lengthening out the back of your legs. The back of your back. Bring your feet onto the mat. Let's take the right leg high, speaking of the back of the legs, and just pull the leg toward you. And this is kind of a fun little playful thing to do. Place your hands behind your thigh and bend your knee. As you inhale, send your leg up high. I was thinking this is the can-can. Exhale, bend the right knee. Again, inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, send that right foot up one more time. Exhale, bend your right knee. Now place your right ankle on your left thigh. Push your right knee away from you. Keep your right foot flexed and reach through and pull the left knee toward you. Now that the left leg is there, send the left leg high. Breathe in as you exhale, bend your left knee. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, kick your left leg high. Exhale, bend the left knee. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, left leg reaches up. As you exhale, bend the left knee. Pull your left knee toward you. Use your right elbow to push the right leg away from you. Good. Mm -hmm. And then release your left foot to the ground. Take your right leg up high. Grab the back of your right leg. And then take your left leg, lay it flat. Ooh, big stretch, like you're doing the splits. Nicely done. And then release your right leg and lower it next to the left leg. Take a full body stretch, breathe in. And as you breathe out, draw your knees in for a squeeze, lengthening out the back, maybe rock side to side. Let's do that fun little play sequence on the second side, both feet are on the mat. Send your left leg up to the sky, give it a little pull, good. And then holding onto the back of the left leg, walk your hands back to the back of your left thigh, bend your left knee. As you inhale, send your left leg high, exhale, bend your left knee. Let's do that again. Inhale, left leg lifts up, exhale, bend the left knee. Two more. Inhale, kick it up like the can-can. Exhale, bend the left knee. One last time, up. And now as you bend the left knee, place your left ankle on your right thigh, and then open the left knee to the side, thread the needle, left hand between the legs, meets the right hand behind the right leg. All right, here we go. Take the right leg straight, and if you can, as you exhale, bend your right knee. Let's do it again. Inhale, right leg straightens. Exhale, bend the right knee. One more time, inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, bend the right knee. Use your left elbow to push the left knee open. Use your hands to draw the right knee closer. Good stretch. Living it, loving it. Ah. Release the right foot to the mat. Send your left leg high. Grab the left leg once more. Send your right leg flat and do the splits in the air. Big extra bonus points. Extra stretch. And then slowly lower your left leg next to the right leg. Take a full body stretch. Breathe it in. And as you exhale, drop both knees in for a squeeze. Ah, what else do you need? If you need something else before resting in Shavasana, and take that on your own when you're ready. Letting it go, releasing all the way down. And I'll leave you in Shavasana with a little inspirational quote from Satchel Page. Work like you don't need the money. Love, love like your heart has never been broken and dance like nobody's watching. I hope you take inspiration for our from our practice today and shake it a little bit, find some time to dance, be creative, find pleasure, enjoy, 
the inspiration from Swadhisthana, the second chakra, the sweetness of life. Namaste.